What up, FBF squad? It's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Okay, so today, you guys, we are having six. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lobster tails, okay? I wanted eight, but, you know, when I got to the store, I couldn't, you know, they were all gone, basically. And I got the last six. And it was a guy behind me who was like, you gonna take all of them? Yes, sir. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, so we're not gonna waste more time. We're gonna say our prayers and we're gonna get into this food. And like I said, you guys, we are on our water kick, so Junior brought us some nice cold refreshing water. Listen, this has been doing wonders for me. I haven't been so committed to drinking water, and I don't know how long. So anyway, cheers to you guys, and let's get to it. And then we have some corn on the cob on the side. Yeah, we're going to start with this one over here. We're going to start with this bad boy right here. Look at him. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if this guy wanted to attack me or no. <laughs> he was like, you gonna take all of them, the rest of them? Yeah. I need this. Me and my FBF squad, we needs this. Okay. I should have put something in the back, back here too because... This is going to get messy. Messy, messy. Okay. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mm. Absolutely. So how are you guys doing today? I'm not exactly sure what day it is, but I know it's a day. <laughs> and I just want to check on my people and see how y'all feeling. We're going to get to one of these corns, too. I'm a little hungry, y'all, so I might be doing a little bit more eating than talking. But I know that's what y'all came here for anyway. So let's do it. Y'all, <clears throat> I have to finish this big old bag of corn, this little small corn that I have. I have to finish the bag. Oh, my butter to fill on the sled on the slab. But I have to finish that bag before I go out and buy those big ones again. Like I'm, you know, like I'm. I know y'all used to seeing. I will be getting those big ones back because these little ones are a tease to me anyway. So. These little bitty ones is a tease to me. Oh. Them boys is... Man, listen. Listen! Linda! I made these jokers just right. Mm. 
はいすはっ、つらっ。うん。うん。あ、めっちゃサウスのスパイス、too。やん、あ、本当に、I don't know what today is。I don't know。it's Sunday <laughs>。I just thought about it。I just thought about it. Listen, there's so much going on. My mind is in a in a space right now, <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it cute, but you know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <clears throat> but we got some lobster tails, y'all. <laughs> we got some lobster tails. It's gonna be all good. Hmm. I know y'all can't see me much, but I'm back here. I'm is back here. Okay. I don't know, but these lobster tails is really giving me my whole entire existence right now. My whole entire existence. They're so bomb. Y'all, I really didn't have too much to get on here and talk about today. Um, but to be honest with y'all, today really ain't my day, but I guess that's this thing called life. Every day ain't gonna be your day, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, that mess is getting all in my chin here, y'all. Oh. And we back. <laughs> I had to adjust myself. I have to adjust some things. These um, lobster tails are really hitting the spot. They really are. It's just hot though. Good, good, good. What I tell y'all? My cell phone.
baby. When I tell you that spice and that sauce, oh, it's hitting me. It's almost like whoosh. We here. That's what the spices is giving me. And I'm like, woo, hello, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. The smoke still coming off that thing is that hot. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I ain't never ate some lots of potatoes so quick in my life. In my whole life. Last corn, last corn, last corn. Last call for the corn. Last call for the corn. Listen, it's something about when you dip this corn into that sauce that takes it to a whole other level. Hmm. Yeah, you can use a regular butter sauce, but it's not going to hit the same. It's not going to hit the same. Excuse me. <sighs> you guys, I am so sorry. Today is just not my day. I know I usually come on here full of energy, full of life. And I mean, I mean, I'm still, I'm full of energy and I'm full of life and all that stuff. It's just that my mind is in a million places right now. And I'm trying to just, you know, be calm, cool, and collected, you know. And, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess we could, let me see, what can we talk about, you guys? Let's talk about this craziness that's going on with, uh, uh, you know, with the stuff that's going on in the news. I don't know how deep I can get into that. I don't know how deep I can get into this conversation, you know, because politics is a really big thing. But to me, right now, I feel like that we are in a place where keeping your mouth closed is probably not the best thing to do. All this craziness that's going on with Iran or Iraq or whatever it is that's happening over there, I just, I'm not here for it at all. I don't believe in war and all of that craziness. Just like, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't think that we live in a time where war needs to be um, the forefront of any situation. If people can't sit and talk, whatever issues they have out, as opposed to just, all this craziness, this insane insanity that's going on, I'm, listen, I'm ready to get the ASAP up out of here because I ain't never in my life experienced the amount of stupidity that we are experiencing as a whole in America right now. And I'm trying to like go around it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm walking on eggshells and really not really wanting to say what I want to say about the situation, but I just feel like... I feel like we've been put in a position where it could have been, you know, easily solved had it been someone else in the White House. 
if you get what I'm saying. I feel so bad for the people that have to go over there and, and fight this battle that we did not ask for. I mean, I think that comes with the, the any war, to be honest with you. I'm just not pleased with that, you know? It's just, mm -mm. I'm not here for it at all. Not here for it. But, you know, <clears throat> what can we do? What can we really do, to be honest with you? I feel like a lot of people made a lot of decisions based on how they feel and all this stuff. And now we've been put in a position where we have to go over there. And I kind of figured like something like this would happen. I figured like something just like this would happen once that, you know, that hand <laughs> went through. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't want to say too much, y'all. I don't want to say too much. I don't know like the guidelines on here to be discussing this type of you know uh, stuff. But I just feel like you know. We in trouble. <laughs> we are in serious trouble. Like, come on. Like, what in the world? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And I just had this itching feeling within me that was saying, like, if y'all try to get this man up out of that place, he is going to cause a problem. And look what's happening. I look. Mm -mm. I ain't got no parts of that. I ain't got no parts of that. And, you know, I mean, there's nothing else I could really say about it. I mean, I could go into further detail. I'm just so, like... I'm so thrown off by this whole situation. I've been watching the news and I don't even really watch the news like that. I just, it's, it's always something sad and, and just, you know, it's just not the best. We're not in the best of times right now as far as the news is concerned. News has just been a whole bunch of just, uh, a whole bunch of mess. Just every day you look up, it's just something different. Even like within my city, it's just, we already got enough going on here. You know, even though we, listen, listen, when I say this, my city, Chicago, you guys, for those who, who are always asking where I'm from, Chicago, my city is a very beautiful, beautiful city. Once you get outside of what they try to portray us as, and I say that very strongly because we're not all of that that y'all see in the news. We're not just that, okay? We're just, I'm just going to say that. We're not just that of what y'all see being portrayed in the news. It's so much that, that Chicago has to offer. It's just so much that we have to offer as a city. It's a beautiful city. And I don't know what, where we rank as one of the best in America, but I know that we up there. And I know that we are a really good city aside from what they try to, you know, portray us as in the, in the media and in the news and all of that stuff. But this situation that's happening right now, that man has always got his mouth on my city talking about how we so violent and it's just so much crime and it's just so much this and so much that or whatever the case is but look what you going to do you went out to a whole nother country my friend a whole other country and just started a mess just started up it's just it's mind-blowing i know that a lot of people are just very displeased by this i know a lot of people are very much so kicking themselves in the ass because this is what y'all wanted <laughs> this is what y'all wanted this is what y'all wanted. Okay? Y'all put that man in position to make these decisions and look. 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 Anyway, y'all, I'm off of that subject. I'm done. I'm just, you know, I'm very bothered by that. You know, I'm very triggered by that. And um, I just, you know, hope that things turn out better. Because some people are talking about within the next couple of days that something about to happen. They literally said in the next couple of days, I was watching CNN and they literally said that they planning on coming over here knocking on our doors in the next couple of days. That's what was said. So, I mean, I mean, what what, what are we going to do? What's, what's supposed to happen? Like, are we prepared for this? Are we prepared? Do we have what it takes to fight these people? Because y'all know what happened in the last situation. We had to run in with them. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.
We don't have any shout outs today, you guys, but if you do want one, that lets me know that you made it to the end of this video. Just leave it in the comments. Let me know if you want a shout out and I will shout you out. If you're not following me on my social media, you can follow me on my Instagram at underscore fat belly fella underscore. Okay, okay. But in the meantime, you know what's about to happen. You know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Peace. Mwah.